us. Well, we got the engine out. So now we have to measure from the frame to the the hub flange in there. And then figure out the distance between the two and then figure out what it is between that one and how much we have to subtract. Let's see if we can cut all this shit out of here. Rebuild the whole suspension and make it work. Oh, good morning, everyone. Sorry about my uh, awkward hairdo. Just had a shower. Holy fuck, that's terrible. Good morning, everyone. Today we're on our way to Ethan's house. Um, we have to assist in pulling a transmission out of a 2000s to 2006. GMC pickup truck? Um, I don't know. Um, it was lifted once. It had the motor ripped out of it. Now we gotta pull a training out of it. A guy's coming. Less than an hour. So I was notified this morning that I need to get up, shower, and then head over there immediately to get this rocking. So let's see if I can't make it there without a speeding ticket. And uh, let's get a training ripped out. Catch you there. So we made it. There's Ethan pulling the transmission out. So we'll get this going here. We'll see you when it's out. One casualty later, and it's out. It's a little, little flesh wound. So, pull out the old tape measure here. And I measured my Crown Vic frame. It's 30 inches side to side. The Ranger is 29 inches. So we're roughly the same uh, from the frame rail on the outside of the frame rail <coughs> we'll add uh it, it's 17 uh, from frame rail to outside the tire but we'll add half an inch because of the difference in the frame from one to the other 17 is right on the verge of the outside of it so even if the tire stuck out a little bit further then uh what they do now it won't look horrible plus we are measuring on wide ass wheels that aren't gonna like they're not the true depth they can be sucked in more and be squared up with these rims or different rims on it to narrow up the wheelbase but still that's, that's pretty close and from ground to top of frame is the difference of uh, so from frame to ground, either or, so it's 10 inches and then 12 inches, but my tires sit two inches shorter on this truck than that car. So really, if you minus the difference in tire height, it's actually sits an inch lower on the top half. So if you set the frame, the subframe in the same position as the Crown Vic, under the Ranger with the Ranger at the stock height, it's actually an inch shorter than the frame itself, which would give me all the clearance in the room for headers. Cause right now my headers, right now my headers. So if you measure see, 10, 10 inches from the oil pan where it would touch up, it's just under the heads. So from, here, 10 inches up is the top of the frame. So anything above the frame is in the way, which these buckets, if you can see these, the spring buckets are in the way from the top of the frame. And with the Crown Vic front frame, the, the coilover buckets will be down here. Optimal, it will be great. There'll be so much room under here for activities. Oh, I'd be sick. It's just, I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get a complete front subframe from Crown Vic and just say fuck it and lock the front end off this truck. 
jack it up, slide it under, set it down on it, see how it fits. Instead of getting attacked by mosquitoes and guessing, or just commit. Slop this off. I already ruined it. Why not finish it off? And if that doesn't work, I saw a front clip. I can buy another frame for a Ranger from the Wreckers that has independent upper and lower A arms with a rack already in it. I can sell my rack, the dream beams, and all the pieces to someone else. Like, I'm not, I won't be. I won't be shorting myself at all. I just trying a different route before settling on another one. Guess we'll see what happens.